the centralized assessment. All right, suppose that a spherical star spinning at an initial angular velocity omega suddenly collapses to half its original radius without any loss of mass. Assume the star has uniform density before and after the collapse. What will the angular velocity of the star be after the collapse? So this question is about conservation of angular momentum. Now, what do we have in the problem? So we are given that the initial angular velocity of the star is omega. So we say omega initial, omega initial is equal to omega. We are also given this, that the star is of a spherical shape and has a uniform density. So if we go to slide number one, where we could find the moment of inertia of different objects, we have a solid sphere. This is what we're going to use for the star. It is a sphere with uniform density. So solid sphere, that's 2 over 5 mR squared. Slide 31. So meaning to say the moment of inertia of the initial moment of inertia of the star is going to be equal to 2 over 5 mR squared. Now it says there that the star suddenly collapses to half its original radius without the loss of mass. So having the same mass, the moment of inertia of the star would change because its radius changes. So in fact, the moment of inertia final is going to be equal to 2 over 5, same mass, but then the radius now is half of its original radius. So that's going to be r over 2. Do not forget to square it. So if I would simplify the final moment of inertia, that's going to become 2 over 5 m r mr squared it's going to be mr squared over 4 and i could rewrite this as um omega um, i final is equal to 1 fourth 2 over 5 mr squared any questions so far any questions Clear, Mr. OK, now take note that 2 over 5 mR squared, 2 over 5 mR squared is in fact equal to I initial. So then I could rewrite this as 1 over 4 I initial. Because again, 2 over 5 mR squared is just my I initial. Then I could say that therefore my I final is equal to I initial over 4. Now everything becomes very simple. I would now be using my law of conservation of angular momentum to solve this problem. So I will have L initial is equal to L final or angular momentum initial is equal to angular momentum final. Now my angular momentum initial would be I initial omega initial is equal to I final omega final. I would just be utilizing my I initial. I don't have to expand it to be 2 over 5 mR squared because I'm, I will be able to cancel it anyway. I'm just going to have I initial. And my omega initial is given to be omega, so I would substitute it as omega. That's my um, initial angular velocity. And that is equal to my um, I final, according to what we have derived earlier, is i over 4, so I would substitute i initial over 4, that's my i final, multiplied by what's being solved, what's being asked in the problem, which is the new angular velocity. So I will be multiplying both sides by 4 to get rid of the denominator on the right side of the equation. So I will now have 4i initial omega is equal to I initial omega final. And I could also cancel the I initial on both sides of the equation such that my final answer becomes 4 omega is equal to the new angular velocity. This is the answer to the question. Or you could write I omega final is equal to 4 omega. Any questions? 
All right, so you may take a screenshot of this solution so you could present your solution to slide number, I mean to problem number 17 on slide 31 this way. Now, on slide, uh, on question number 20, there's a tricky part in question number 20. Be, um, it's actually a very simple problem, but the only thing is that the initial velocity of the ice skater is given to be in revolutions per second. If this happens, you need to make sure that you convert revolution per second to radian per second. So how do we do that? Remember, so if we have 3.0 revolution per second, to convert this into radian per second, I have shown this in one of the Ed Puzzle tasks. So 3.0 revolution per second, to convert that, we will multiply this with our um, statement of equivalence, which is in every one revolution, there are two pi radians. Then we will be able to cancel the unit of revolution and the unit left would be radian per second. And in fact, three revolution per second is equal to six pi radian per second. So this is your omega initial. Questions? All right. It, it, yes, tell me. Uh, what's your question we use here? It is, say that again. Which formula we use here? Formula for what? Uh, question 20. I use L is still asking for conservation of angular momentum. What's the formula for conservation of angular momentum? You have it right here. Oh, it's the same. It's the same. It's conservation of angular momentum. And momentum initially is equal to momentum. Angular momentum initially is equal to angular momentum final. Any other questions? All right. Try to finish this in seven minutes and let's and, and don't forget to tap on please check for as soon as you have presented your solution to slide 31.